the DJI Mini 2. Should you still buy one here in the year 2023? Well, let me say this. If we were to compare the DJI brand to various other drone manufacturers out there, a lot of drones being released today still have a hard time matching the DJI Mini 2's capabilities, reliability, and flight characteristics. Definitely, the DJI Mini 2 is still a worthwhile drone to buy and a great deal here in 2023. And you're probably saying to yourself, okay, I'm looking at the price and I'm considering buying a DJI Mini 2. And I know it's an older model because you've got the DJI Mini 3, you've got the Mini 3 Pro, you've got the Avada and various other successor models of the DJI Mini 2. Why would I still pay around $600 to $700 for the DJI Mini 2 if it's still an older model? Isn't that still a bit overpriced? Well, as mentioned, there are a lot of characteristics that the DJI Mini 2 drone has that a lot of other drone manufacturer brands do not provide. For instance, return to home feature. So before flight, the drone would recognize where it takes off from. And when let's say you're flying over the city and you're maybe a thousand feet away, all you would have to do is push the button on the remote, the return to home feature, and the drone will fly back to the exact same spot where it took off from. So that is a great feature that you definitely want, especially if you're flying like thousands of meters away. And you guys could clearly see on this beautiful sunny day, the 4K camera capture resolution at 30 frames per second it still makes this a beast of a camera in this little tiny drone and will definitely not disappoint with your captured footage. You're definitely gonna get a lot of flying time up in the air. But let's go inside and let's take a look at what actually comes with the fly kit combo and the DJI Mini 2 if in fact you purchase one here in the year 2023. So one of the things I really love about the DJI Mini 2 is that it's really lightweight. This is a really lightweight drone. As you can see on the box here, they indicate that this only weighs 249 grams. So you might have actually heard stories if you are still contemplating buying your first drone. Uh, you've never owned a drone. Your friends own drones. And you may have heard stories of how people are getting tickets for flying their drones in the city or in areas where you're not allowed to fly. Well, I think a lot of these stories come from the earlier days when drones first became popular because the earlier drones were so big. And that's what makes the DJI Mini 2 so great because it's lightweight you don't actually need a license to fly this drone because it only weighs 249 grams. Because if you were flying a drone that weighed more than 250 grams, you could get a ticket. However, if you are flying your drone in the city and you're not flying at a high altitude and a security guard tells you not to fly in this area, then you should be mindful and take the drone down and say sorry. But technically, they couldn't actually give you a ticket. So now I'll tell you a story when I first flew this drone, because as you can see, it's not brand new. I've flown it already. You guys saw the footage of me flying earlier. The One of the first flights I did, I took off very close to a park bench. Now this had nothing to do with the drone and the flight. It was surely on me because I took off too close to an object. So when the drone came up, the wind pushed it over a little bit and the propeller hit the side of the bench and the drone came down and I broke some of the propellers. So lucky for me, if you're getting the fly kit, 
combo, it comes with a whole bunch of accessories and it does come with extra propellers. So if in fact that happens, I mean, it's, it's not something that's going to happen often unless you're flying close to objects and you're trying to come out of a tight squeeze. But I mean, if you're flying for the first time, you're definitely going to be wanting to fly in an open space. So you shouldn't have that problem, but stuff happens and it does come with extra propellers and screws and a screwdriver. So what else you get in the box, you can see here, it comes with some cords. You got your power cords. You've got this, these cords as well, depending on what phone you're going to want to attach to the remote. So if you've got an iPhone, an older iPhone, maybe you want the lightning cable. It's also got a USB-C and it's got some other ports, just depending on what phone you're going to be attaching to the remote. Now, when I first bought this, because as you guys know, this is the DJI Mini 2. It's about two years old now. The successors are the Mini 3 and the Pro. And in some of the newer models, you can also have the option to have the remote with the LSD built in. And as you can see, this is the original remote where the LSD is not built in. So you would attach your phone. At first, I thought I'd have trouble with this remote, but after a while, I realized that it's it's actually a really great mode. The software is really easy to use, and um, again, so you would just plug it in there. You've got the you've got the uh, joysticks here, and you just screw the joysticks in, and it comes with additional joysticks as well. And uh, we'll talk more about the remote in a bit. We'll just look at everything that comes in the box. So what else comes with this Fly More kit? Of course, you've got the bag, which really comes in handy because, I mean, you're going to be wanting to carry all your stuff if you're going out on a trip in the mountains or whatnot. So the bag, the bag is really a bonus that comes with the kit. And so what else do we have? We've got the batteries. Now the batteries is a really great thing because if in fact you're just buying the drone alone with the remote, you're only getting one battery. And the thing is, each battery lasts about 30 minutes. So with the two extra batteries, you got an hour and a half of flight time while you're out in the field or in the mountains or whatever. But what's really great about this charging dock is, see, there's indicator lights here. So if I put this battery in, it's gonna tell me that how much battery this battery has. As you can see here, there's four lights and all my batteries are fully charged. So they're all gonna indicate four lights. But if in fact it would had less power, it would just say maybe one light, two lights or three lights. But uh, that is a really great option because you wanna know, like maybe you forget to charge your battery all you have to do is just check before you leave the house and you're good to go. And there's also a button here you can press and the lights will shine and just tell you how much battery you have. And you can see there I've got full battery because all the lights are indicating. So again, we can talk more about the lightweightness of this drone. Of course, if you're going to be going out into the mountains or something, your travel bag is definitely going to come in handy. But if in fact you don't want to carry your travel bag and you just want to put this in your pocket and you're thinking, how am I supposed to put this in my pocket? Well, of course, these, these propellers, the wings, they come down, they fold in just like that, right? But even if they fold in just like that, sure, that's, that's, that helps a little bit, but all the propellers are like moving around, right? You, you can break those. You don't want to put those in your pocket, but that's why this little thing right here is comes in handy really good because you can actually, so what you do is when you put this away, you put the propellers down like that. This comes over like this so that the propellers kind of hide inside there. Then on the back, the strap comes on top of the top propellers. That way none of the propellers move. And you can actually just fit this in your pocket. It's palm size and it's really light. That's the one thing I really love about this drone is it's so light. I mean, it gets a little bit heavy when you put the battery in. The battery's a little bit heavy. But without the battery, it's super light. And you can literally put this in your pocket. Uh, if it doesn't fit in your jeans pocket, if you're wearing a little bit tighter jeans, if you're wearing a hoodie, it easily fits into your like pouch pocket. And yeah, so that's a very travel friendly right there. And so going back to the remote control, because I think the best feature I love about the DJI Mini 2 and what would get me to buy it in 2023, on top of the camera still being a beast. I mean, you're getting 4K resolution capture with 30 frames per second. And you guys saw the footage. We can go back out there. 
is beautiful. And on top of that, when you, so with the remote, the software is actually very easy to use. And there is a feature that you can actually change because you, you can shoot in 1080p if you want to. You can shoot in 4K. I think you can go down to 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second if you want it. But you can also, depending on the lighting situation, if it's darker or it's lighter out, you can mess with the aperture and the shutter speed to get the perfect scenery capture that you want. And the camera is a beast of a camera in this uh, DJI Mini 2. And as you can see here, so that's, and it's a gimbal as well, right? So when you're in flight mode, you can, you can move it downwards or whatnot, but it's not going to be shaky because it's a gimbal. And I guess that's going to come off in order for me to get that off. And so you can see here that this, it's got a, like a protective plastic that goes over the gimbal you can see here and so you want to definitely take that off when you're flying but so when you've got it in your pocket everything is pretty like everything is pretty secure when you put this strap on nothing's gonna move around and it's super lightweight like it's the perfect travel friendly drone that you must have if you're definitely like if you're definitely traveling around and you want to capture that footage like that you just can't get when you're on the ground, the DJI Mini 2 is the perfect pocket-sized drone. And I think a steal of a great buy to still buy in 2023, even though it is two years older now. I don't think you can actually still get it. I'm not sure if you can still get it on the DJI store. I think here in Canada and the United States, they took it off the store. But if you were to find one used, I'm sure you can find one on the internet or Craigslist or Amazon where I bought mine. So I bought mine brand new on Amazon. I paid just over $600. And I'm thinking because it's two years older now, you're not really going to find the just the drone unless you're getting it used. So if you're buying the DJI Mini 2, for instance, on Amazon, you're definitely, it's definitely going to be the fly more kit. And for the price of around $600 for this drone with the three extra batteries, the travel pouch and all the accessories, it's a really great deal. And you're probably saying to me, 600, 700 bucks, that's still pretty pricey. Even looking at the Mini 3 and other models to spend over a thousand dollars, the DJI Mini 2 is a great buy here in 2023. Definitely still worth it. I love it. I'm pretty sure you guys would love it if it's your first drone and I mean, the, the footage right here, you can see I'm in Vancouver, so I'm flying over False Creek and that's Science World down there, you can see. And uh, there wasn't a single cloud in the sky. It was a great day, but you can see how how beautiful that uh, 4K resolution, 30 frames per second, that capture is It's really good. It's a beast of a camera and it will not disappoint and it delivers on what it is. And definitely still a buy here in 2023. Anyways. I'm going to leave it at that. Catch you guys in the next one.